Mike Eves knows the hard-checking world of hockey. He's the Badgers' all-time leading scorer and won national championships with UW-Madison as both a player and a coach. Eves recently skated over to the University of Wisconsin's Wiseman Center coach Eves. to take on another tough challenge, a team of toddlers. We're going to make you be a teacher. Well, good. And good. you're going to start with the youngest, the one-year-old. I don't know how many people realize that we have a preschool here. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine people. Our mission is to demonstrate how to include kids with special needs in a regular education program. I think I'm just a big kid, honestly. If there are kids around, I will gravitate toward them. If they're outside playing, I want to go play with them. I didn't know if he would really adapt to such young children. And you can sit between Olivia and Max. Hi, Max. Hi, buddy. Mm -hmm. Max and I got to be pretty good buddies. Oh, thanks, Max. He was feeding the coach, um, and the coach was actually eating <laughs> his food. They had things he touched, and who knows for how long. It's time for a diaper change, so come on over. I hope I get to do it. You are doing it. <laughs> the first thing you need is rubber gloves. Thank goodness I've got grandchildren. So what do we got here? You got bibs on? He was willing to do it. It was fantastic. Oh, I'm almost there. Okay. And not a tear. The hard part, I thought, for him would be wiping everything down. Adam, well, you get the upper part. I'll get the lower part. Like cleaning the ice, Max. It's that Zamboni rhythm. So I got Max in one arm, we're spraying, and, and he's helping me clean it up, actually. We call ourselves the Zamboni. <laughs> Good boy. Here you go. Dry your hands. Here, wipe your hand on my shirt. Okay, there you go. Hey, task done. All right. <laughs> it was just precious. Good job, my man, Max. He is a dad, and he is a grandpa. He must make the hockey team a family too. Now we're going to one of our four-year-old kindergarten rooms. Okay, Coach Eves. Hey, Here are the what's happening? Huh? When he came in, we had him do what we call a welcome song, you know, like a hello song. Hello. Heidi, 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 ho, oh, who's that sitting <laughs> next to you? <laughs> did I goof it up? <laughs> I mean, he did forget some names. And we're done. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. I don't think I'm going to do with that but with my team. I do it just a little off. <laughs> All the rainbows are here! And after that, I had him come over to the housekeeping area. What are we going to teach him? Okay. Get How to there. play house. house! You put out food and, and you make a house. We have to help him get all dressed up. All of a sudden, I'm starting getting hats on my head and a Bucky shirt on and the kids are putting beads around my neck. He just has that personality where, you know, it's just electrifying and he's like a magnet for the kids. You get in the spirit of it and we just rolled with it. He actually dealt with a situation where two kids were having an issue with each other. What's going on guys? Are we sure? They both wanted the same car. Tell you what, you play with this one and then we'll get the other one after. It doesn't change. They're going to find that out. They're going to have to work it out later in life, too. Can we trade? No. Part of our task as college coaches is to help those young men figure things out. What if I give you a car and my hat? And I can have that car? Okay. With kids, they have the natural ability to break down barriers. Can you say thank you? Thank you. boy. Now they're best buddies. Now they're best buddies. Another job solved by Coach Mike. I mean, his personality is just perfect for this job. He was awesome, and he was willing to do anything that the kids asked him to do. Okay, I'm going to show you a special treat. You ready for this? Juggling is a hobby. And uh, it's funny, we learned to juggle when I was a senior in school here. Uh, assistant coach at the time brought a juggler in to help with our eye-hand coordination. We still teach our kids to this day, our hockey players. Thank you, I should have been in the circus. We were getting ready to do an activity in the, in the gym with little hockey sticks. This is called ball handing, or stick handling, where we, we pass the ball to ourselves. We made a couple teams with one hockey stick and one ball. We tried to score. They all jumped right in there. Oh, you scored! I did like it, because it was so fun. Are you ready, honey? He was starting to sweat, and I could see the sweat dripping off his face. Coach Eve was the goalie. 
I got a lot of space between my legs. I didn't have my goalie pads on, so they had success. I like scoring the goals. I should have brought a change of clothes, and if there was a shower here, I would have taken a shower after. I told him that it was going to be nap time, and he had to get nap set up. Okay, let's get your mat or extra mat. I need a towel here. I want to get the last purple. I just need one. He went too quick and he went. Whoa, whoa. He put all the mats down so fast and it went like that. <laughs> I didn't know they, they had fitted sheets for their little mattresses. And it was, Coach, can you help me put my fitted sheet on? And it was like, honest to Pete, are you kidding me here? I have problems with my own fitted sheet at home. Okay, quick, lie down before it folds up. <laughs> he helped them get ready for rest time. He rocked children. He fed them bottles. He did a lot of very nurturing, wonderful things. <laughs> They're trying to communicate something to you, and you got to figure out what it is. You want to walk around? Huh? It was great. It's, it comes so natural to him. There we go. Everybody's getting quiet, huh? I think that's one of the great moments of the day is when uh, your, your child or your grandchild's in your arms and you're feeding them. It's calm. Uh, they're connecting to you. A lot of time their head's right by your heartbeat. And, uh, you know, you just, you just almost as one. I was like, wow. He didn't mind getting on the floor. He didn't mind his, you know, rubbing someone else's back. He didn't know me from Adam, but he was okay with that. He has touched every one of those kids today in such an awesome way. Goodbye, coach. They just think that he is the coolest thing on earth right now. I would love him to come back. To me, it always comes back to the people, the people that are working with these kids that run this facility. They have a genuine love for what they do and an expertise. And when you put those two together, you, you got a jewel. He would be a wonderful early childhood teacher. I would hire him in a second. Thank you so much. It was really fun to spend the day with you. Goodbye. Thanks for a good time.